This week on El Cara Ham Radio, it's time for Summer Field Day, where we get out the emergency communications trailer and bring out the food. In fact, this was the year that we christened our new El Cara Grill. And we got out there and made contacts several different ways, voice, CW, and digital modes. That's what's coming up this week on El Cara Ham Radio. Well, as I arrived at Worldwide Headquarters at the home of AC4DM and WM4LM, the emergency communications trailer had already been pulled out. In years past, sometimes I would do this if I got there early enough, but uh, we had a slightly different orientation of the trailer this year, and uh, I liked it. Uh, not only can we see the skin that we put on it and the graphics and so forth from within the uh, the big building, but uh, it just looks really nice in this orientation, as well as give us plenty of ways to uh, do antennas and cabling going out the back and the front. Here we have AC4DM finishing up the leveling on the trailer and making sure that once you go inside, you're not leaning to one side or from front to back. Relatively easy setup these days. We've got several members that are getting quite adept at setting up the trailer. Here we have uh, Howard's uh, car and his setup, and uh, you can see he's going to be utilizing a mast attached to a hitch on the car, and we'll come back to him a little bit later. We started setting up for food, and uh, we at El Cara believe that anytime you're going to get together for any real length of time, well, you must have some food. But this was the Wouldn't year that we christened the El Cara Grill. And uh, three of them got together, and as we'll see a little bit later, Thanks up to five people got together trying to put this grill together. Well, hey, Ron, how are you today? I'm doing great. I'm out here first field day with El Cara. Want to shout out a special hello to Jason, KE5JTS, and Vince, uh, KN6KKZ. Uh, and all the other people in the Low Diameter Radio Club who watch these videos, you guys can learn a lot from what this club does, so pay attention. And that's all I got. We'll check in with you later, 73. 73. Thanks, Ron. All right. And as you can see, we're still putting the grill together, but this time now we have Mr. Carey keeping an eye on things. Uh, we got to have a supervisor when you're putting these things together. But you can see it's really starting to take form now. And we'll be cooking burgers and hot dogs on it in a little, a little bit later. And as we pan across the big building here, we can see the fellows putting the grill together. We've got some new folks this year. We had three new people come out uh, to the event this year, which was wonderful. You're always looking to get new folks uh, to come out to your events. And that reminds me, you want to make sure that uh, whenever possible, you let your community know that you're running these style of events. Sometimes we don't do a really good job of that, but we are looking to do a better job next year, letting different uh, organizations, the police, the mayor, and all of that, that you're running such an event and invite those people out to uh, see what it is that amateur radio brings, as well as maybe school kids or whoever else you might be able to entice. Here we've got AC4DM with the gas can and his little motorized uh, filler uh, that will take the gas out of the can and put it into the generator. Uh, could we connect the uh, MCOM trailer to shore power? We could. Uh, in fact, we actually have, or he has, or we have a cable or uh, power cable long enough to do just that, but uh, running it off a generator is a little bit more uh, convenient. Here we've got uh, a Big Ears antenna going up. I don't think it's technically the MFJ Big Ears, but one very much like thing. it. And now you can see that grill's been put together. We've got burgers on the grill, which is always yeah, enticing. Because once that burger and, and hot dog start cooking, boy, does it smell wonderful. Steve, how are you liking field day? On my belly full, I don't know. Every time we get together, for some reason, I gain four or five pounds. What is that? I'm, I haven't been able to figure that out yet. If you figure it out, you let me know so we can 
try well, to straighten it let's, out. Uh, let's, let's ask the viewers to let us know down in the comments why you seem to gain weight at field day. It's the way it was. <laughs> Did you take a picture of all that stuff before it was before it was gone. Gorged yeah. and devoured all of the table. Yeah, sure did. I was one of the gorgers. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> not gorgeous. No, not gorgers. Heck, no, I'm not gorgeous. Beauty skin deep and ugly goes all the way to the bone. That's 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 what I hear. Yeah. 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 Well, that field day is good. Always has been. I'm just trying to figure out who's going to take the night shift. I understand. I don't want it. <laughs> uh -huh. I've had my stealth at it. I have too. I've, I've spent a couple nights in that thing. Well, continue to have a good time, sir. I will. And thanks for the for checking in on me. You're welcome. I'm still on this side of the crash. For our new v viewers, we wanted to do a quick little uh, view of the inside the emergency communications trailer. Uh, this was a project uh, three or four years ago that we put together, and we continue to use it at all of our events. We take it everywhere because it's essentially our calling card. Here we have Devin making some contacts using FT8, I believe, uh, with his digital setup here. He's got a really nice setup. You can see the ASU he's got going here. He's got his laptop, tuner, and that big screen monitor. How many contacts so far, Devin? One. Uno? What? Uno. My antenna was laying on the ground and I didn't know it. Oh. And I made a contact with the antenna on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Where were they? I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. That's funny. Uh, we're calling CQ, man. A little bit of video, sir. I'm on 40 meters. 40? Yeah, 40 right now. And I'm, try I'm on this um, film there with uh, WhatsApp. Okay. Well, through the LICW, one of the guys has got a channel in WhatsApp. Okay. For the LICW, DMR, and BOTA. Right. And so there's, and um, what, I, what I ought to do is, uh, if you're interested, I will send you a link. Tuesday at 8 o'clock, they have a, a, a Zoom. Well, first of all, LICW has 90 classes a week. I'm familiar with them, yeah. Okay, well, I would invite you to the rag shoe on um, uh, Tuesday nights. So I'm trying to get hold of some of these guys and see if they will kind of search for me and baby me a little bit. Yeah, we, uh, we interviewed them uh, four years ago uh -huh. at uh, Hamvention yeah. down in Florida. So um, there, you know, it's a, uh, it's quite amazing what, um, how many people are really doing CW. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a very active. Uh, it's more than you think. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, shit, the, the, the air is full of right now. Mm -hmm. And yeah, absolutely. And they, the, that year that they were there at Hamvention, they were having a contest to see who was the fastest. Oh. And they had some guys up there. There was a guy on YouTube. I mean, this guy just hammering it up. Yeah, I mean, burning it, it up. Oh, it, it was, it was, <laughs> it's mind boggling. Well, even some of this, let's see if I can find it. Most, most of these guys are in the 20 to 30 mm -hmm. words per minute. Uh, I'm wearing nowhere near that. I can. There's CQ. Then my call. Working better now. So that's so this is kind of a I wasn't sure I was gonna like this, but gee, this is nice. Like inside the side? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just and um because you got this and see this. So P. Or I could I could do it or Or let it do the, the interval. Yeah. So it um And you have it set up for how many words per minute right now? Well I don't. It um the, oh yeah, this is set up for speed at uh, I think it twelve words per minute. Twelve, okay. So that's and I could um 
speed it up, but I want to keep it slow uh, for me so someone can match me so I can decode what they're sending. Right. And um, How are you liking your Zygu? Well, this is my first day having it powered up, and I'm really learning how to do the button thing. Yeah. Okay. That's part of it, too, isn't it? Yeah, and so I'm, um, um, but it's working. Uh, I'm obviously, I'm getting, I'm sure I'm getting out because I'm getting in. Yeah. So you can see I got the end fed here. And um, uh, so. Um, well, how are you liking field day so far? Well, I said being out with you guys, I mean, that's kind of what it's about. Absolutely. Okay, I mean. It's not a matter of um, liking or disliking. Put your faces, folks. Ow! Shouldn't have had it there. I was telling you to stand clear. Mel Bryan's here with the camera. He catching me threatening people again. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way he does it. Once a California police officer, always a California police officer. <laughs> And that's going to wrap things up here at Summer Field Day with El Cara. We utilize these events to get our members out. That's why the food is so important. And I know we talk about it a lot, but it really is that important. Uh, so that more and more people will come out, including the kids, uh, as often as possible. We want the kids to be out there as well. And we want our members to have a good time. If a member wants to make contacts, they go right ahead and make contacts. As you saw, Devin, Howard... Uh, we also had uh, somebody making contacts uh, over on the side, and we had some folks working indoors where the air conditioning was there in the emergency communications trailer. All of the setup is to allow our members to make contacts, or they can set up themselves and make contacts. Summer Field Day is not really about contesting. A lot of people make it into that, but it should be a fun event and a fun uh, an event that your members can learn how to use their equipment like we saw a little bit earlier. And also, allow your members to ask questions at these events. These events can also be used as uh, mentoring opportunities for anybody who is unclear about this or that in their amateur radio um, uh, hobby. For the Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association, I'm KY4BDP Brian. We hope you enjoyed the video. Click that subscribe button. It doesn't take very much effort. Like the video and give us some comments about what maybe your club did for field day this year. 73.